Good morning. Guess what we're doing? That's right, we're moving goats. <laughs> we are down here fixing to move the cattle through the timber like we did a little while ago. And we're just gonna kinda get a look at them and compare them to how they looked earlier. Basically, to kind of show everybody how fast you can put condition on cattle in the springtime. And that's a tool that you can use uh, to your benefit, for your management, to decrease your input costs. Uh, you can use that timing um, to just make your operation more successful. And it just so happened that's, that's how the cattle were designed to function. So it works well. So let's get a look at them and we'll see if they're doing any better. Well, it took him a while to figure out where I was. But this spot should look familiar. This is where we moved him last time across the creek. Hey, what do you say, big man? I wanted to video it just to get an idea of what they look like from the previous time to now. So we'll get a quick look at them, see if they've improved. They should have, if you can see the grass, that was February, if I remember right. Uh, so, you know, it was just starting to show some growth as far as green and good stuff. This is another good lesson for them. They gotta turn their back to me when they cross this creek here. Hopefully what this shows is how fast cattle respond to grass. Especially whenever they've got a, a body that's down a little bit in nutrition and ready to start piling it on. Most of you guys know that because you've seen it, but there may be some people that are new that don't know that animals have that uh, ability that's the way they were designed. You know, they all basically have a dormant season where they lose a little weight. And then they have a growing season where the forage or whatever they eat is doing well and they're fat. So we try and time those seasons with respect to their calving cycle. 
and use that to our advantage for both fertility and for costs on feed. If you need them in a body condition score of six when they calve, and you're calving in February, then you'll have to spend a little more money to get them in that condition in most areas of the country because that's the dormant season. Matter of fact, that's right at the end of the dormant season. So you would have had to kind of keep feeding them until it was that time for them to start calving. So just some things to weigh and some things to think about. Here comes the bulk of them now. She says, oh, that's a good bite. Very pleased with where they with where they are right now. Uh, they're they're right on schedule slash maybe a little ahead of schedule. Now that still doesn't mean that we're not out of a drought issue, but it does mean that I'm going to be able to get them in condition by mid to late June. You think about that. Uh, this is pretty much April the third or so when I'm videoing this, and so I've got a lot of time. Uh, April May, you know. 75 to 90 days with fours like kind of what we're seeing for a while so it's that's the beauty of doing it this time of year as far as trying to put on the best condition this time of year we're utilizing our resource the best we know how without having to put inputs on it or anything so i'm excited where they are hopefully they'll keep on trucking and then we will keep on trucking also this is the type of stuff that they're grazing. It's annuals, it's legumes, it's things of that nature right now. It's just what comes up. Soon as they move over to perennials, we'll start managing differently. Oh. Woo! Ooh, I do not want to get shocked. I know that. Hey guys. This is how I like to do it a little wire in the tree. Follow me, guys. Yeah. And there they go. 25 down the low, low, low. What a do? <laughs> Come on. Woo! It's okay. I'm not going to get you. They say, I don't recognize that guy getting on the ground like that. Hey, 
you can see they're still retaining a little hair some of them are which is which is normal obviously the best kind would be ones that have already slicked off here's a red cow right here that's a little more slick the one next to her uh, is a Mashona the one on the left is an Angus what I like what I'm seeing now is they've just come through the gate and they're putting their heads down and eating for the most part uh, there was a time in there where they would just shoot all the way to the north end or the south end or whichever direction we were going and, and not eat until they got down there so the fact that they're stopping and eating here uh, is a good thing of course look what they've got to eat clovers winter annuals vetch all those things that will make them fat quick amazing how that works so you should be able to see a little bit of difference in condition we're looking at the whole not individual animals so just in general I think they look a lot better as a whole uh, just like I just said I, I still think there's some that aren't as in as good a condition as they will be in another 30 days or so uh, which is great because we have several days before it's time to start calving which is kind of our our goal what we want we want to have them in a body condition score of six uh, by the time they start calving and that will ensure that they're the highest percentage is going to cycle back provided there are no other uh, health issues with respect to their reproduction and that and that includes the bulls so uh, that's our goal so that's what we shoot for and we are clearly on our way and probably ahead of schedule so that's a good thing that's uh, outstanding especially after a year that we've had where we had to destock and and we had i mean we were just kind of scraping by this winter and uh and we're not out of the woods yet as as i've said we'll continue to monitor that and we we will adjust we may have to get rid of more we're definitely going to bring them through the pens here and and go ahead and wean or pull calves and uh and start that process so that'll take a little bit of weight off of the uh, pastures and off of the cows that'll be another thing that will in turn uh, give them the chance to uh, improve their condition and increase their body condition score by the time we start calving so we are happy well okay so here's the bottom line for us the springtime is the best time we have for getting cattle fat and so if it's critical for our fer fertility and our breed back then we want to plan around that so that's what we do you can see behind me they're packing it on so thanks for watching i hope somebody learned something or gets something from that that may help them we'll see you next time